All right, next we're going to talk about uh, some of the fundamental identities for your trig uh, functions. And we've already talked about some, believe it or not, reciprocal identities. We've had a quiz on this. So one of your uh, reciprocal identities, I'll just show you. So the sine of your angle is equal to 1 over the cosecant of your angle. So each one of your trig functions has a reciprocal trig function. So that's basically what it's talking about when it's talking about the reciprocal identities. So there are six of those. And then quotient identity is definitely something a little bit new, and we'll look at it. Uh, the tangent of your angle is equal to the sine of your angle over the cosine of your angle. And this could be very important to us because sometimes we can't always create our nice little uh, triangle to be able to draw things. And uh, let me just show you why that works. So we'll do a little proof here. It says sine, we know, is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. And the cosine will be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So as you can see, that's a complex fraction. So instead of trying to divide those things, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So we get the opposite over the hypotenuse times the reciprocal of the denominator, the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And as you can see, these are going to cancel, and it's going to leave us opposite over adjacent, which is our tangent. And the good news is because we know that uh, tangent is sine over cosine, that allows us to find our cotangent also. So the cotangent is going to be the reciprocal of that because of the reciprocal identity. So cotangent is going to be uh, cosine over sine. So just a little review on the reciprocal identities and then introducing the two uh, quotient identities and why they basically work. So keep that in mind. We'll look at an example right now. So here's an example. Uh, I've given you two trig functions and I want you to find the remaining three. Now, two of the things would be pretty easy, so I can find the cosecant uh, pretty easily in this problem. I'll just take the reciprocal of this based on the reciprocal identity. I can find the secant by taking the reciprocal of this and then rationalizing the denominator. But that leaves me, of course, tangent and cotangent. And there are basically two ways to do this. One way is to go ahead and just create our triangle. It doesn't really matter what our triangle looks like. We're just trying to get a little visual representation. So we have some angle theta. doesn't matter where it is. We just have to draw it. The sine is 2 fifths. So the opposite side is 2. Hypotenuse is 5. Cosine is square root of 21 over 5. So that side. So once we have our triangle created, it's real easy for us to figure out what our tangent is. So we would say the tangent of our angle uh, would be the opposite side over the adjacent, which when rationalized, square root of 21 over 21. And then we could find our cotangent, of course, by taking the reciprocal of that, square root of 21 over 2. All right, so we can find our trig functions doing that, or we can use the uh, quotient identity. I really don't use the quotient identity very much uh, to find tangent when I'm doing this, just because it's easier, in my opinion, to go ahead and draw the triangle. But we can still use the same concept, so 2 fifths uh, divided by the square root of 21 fifths. So I can do one of two things. I can multiply by the reciprocal, and multiply the top and the bottom by 5, and we'll get... Uh, 2 over the square root of 21, which will rationalize to the same thing we got just a second ago. So either way will work. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't use this very often, very often when I'm doing something like this. Even if I didn't have the cosine, I would just label the sine and then find the missing side using the Pythagorean theorem. But there are going to be some times when we don't have a triangle, and it's going to be important for us to be able to use uh, the concept of tangent sine over cosine. So keep that in mind. We do need to know it. However, in this instance, I probably wouldn't do that.